Up until now, you might have watched Yang Wolf, Thundergun, and I play different games and talk about anime. Or, you're completely new to the channel and don't know who's talking right now. In this video, we take a moment to talk a little bit about the three valued members of Just Okay Gaming. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe and check out the channel. If you ever wanted to know who we are, today we're going to show you the name behind the gamer tag. You're going to learn a little bit about us. Stay tuned. Yes, sir. Yeah, just okay gaming. One of the biggest reasons we're doing the introduction videos, we're expanding on TikTok and Twitter as well. Hopefully this video will allow you guys to personalize us a little bit more. Go ahead, Thundergun, take it away. I am Thundergun, aka Monkey D. I do have way too many gamer tags, but I'm sticking with Thundergun. My name is Ross. I got into anime early. Anime was something that I actually picked up from my grandmother. A lot of people still don't believe that. My grandma was big in anime. She put me in anime. As far as video games, that was my mom. She used to take me to the arcades a lot. Don't worry, you born and raised on the day. Yeah, yeah, where you from? Oh, raised here, Florida. I know a lot about Disney. <laughs> Mickey Mouse <laughs> actually was my grandmother. She's Mickey Mouse in Animal Kingdom. That's some gangster shit. You're up next, sir. My name is Kid Lightning, AKA Wright, AKA Adam. I am a Nintendo kid. Grew up with Zelda, Mario, Pokemon. I hate Sega. Then I got an Xbox 360. It was all Call of Duty from there is downhill. So I finally got a PC just so I could aim better because I am a complete tryhard on every game I play. As soon as I got a mouse, I became a god. My amazing skills and talents attracted Ross and Yang Wolf here. So they had to team up with me. We began making montages. It was great. I'm half Japanese, half Caucasian. Grew up in Florida. I am amazing at video games. The greatest member in Just Okay Gaming. Take it away, Yang Wolf. Yeah, I don't know how to pop that bullshit. <laughs> Easily, just speak. I should just talk all lies from my point. My first name is Josh. I was born and raised in the Virgin Islands. You guys don't really hear my accent a lot of times, and I speak too fast when I actually do talk in my language. Coming from the islands, I was born and raised there. I lived there for 21 years of my life. I got into video games because of my aunt. She bought a PlayStation 1. That's the only way she would get me and my brother to go over because she'll tell us, hey, come play the PlayStation 1. My first console was the Nintendo NES. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on there. Being back home in the islands, we got consoles probably years later after it was actually released. The GameCube, we had Super Smash. Super Smash, that was the game we played every day. I failed every homework assignment because I would rush it and then jump on me. <laughs> I think everybody had their melee phase. It, it was just the game. Straight from school, we would walk straight to his house. We hit the ice cream truck, go to his house, play melee. Gaming was everything to me and my cousins uh, and my brother. We that's that's literally who we were. We got an anime. Oh. My grandma was watching Emiyasha and Sailor Moon. Inuyasha, Inuyasha, Gundam, Cowboy Bebop. I got into gaming um, growing up with the NES. N64 and the Wii and the DS. I was prime time DS time. The NES developed all of my gaming skills, played Zelda, developing my intellectual situational awareness, playing games like Ninja Gaiden, the hardest game of all time. Uh, and oh, beating it. It is, it um, is. It's uh, a, uh, that's a game, man. De defeating Ninja Gaiden, uh, one of my prime accomplishments, developed my reaction time needed for modern games. The Wii was a golden time. It was a golden era. I, I did not, in fact, play the Wii. Oh, well, the Wii was a, was a time. I grew up playing from N64 Smash. I would absolutely demolish Yang with N Thunder Gun in Smash, uh, which I... Have. Well, I, I haven't not pl me. I haven't played against Corp yet, but I did demolish Ross when we played. Did not. So why are we getting um, on here lying? So and go go to school, come home, game. I was one of the kids hiding my DS in my pillowcase at night because I was staying up at 3 a.m. grinding yes, Pokemon uh, Soul yes, Silver. Uh, I was a little later into the anime scene than you guys were. I, I started really watching it once like Naruto became popular and Soul Eater. When anime started moving to Netflix is when I started. Three of your favorite games of all time. Halo is number one. Actually, Halo Two was the first. Game I ever played online and realized I was a god. Anything made by Rockstar and Super Smash. My favorite gaming franchise is number one, Legend of Zelda. Zelda. Yes. Oh my god, I did not see that Ross, coming. Ross, who's never actually played or beaten a Zelda game because he's too Because I don't feel like waving a wand around to change the direction of the wind. All right, all right, buddy. All right, you can. <laughs> Ross, you can relax, buddy. I'm just saying, am I, am I wrong? You're, you're not going to come for my series, bro. After that, it's probably Super <laughs> Smash Bros. But unlike Ross, I'm actually good at it, so I have a reason to make it my favorite. Um, if you want to. Whatever. I would have to probably say Call of Duty because I always loved Call of Duty growing up. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and stuff like that. Though, that I spent way too much time in it. Go ahead, Daniel. Oh, uh, let's go ahead. Oh, my. Okay. Number one is Halo. I have figurines of Halo action figures that have gone pro in Halo. Exactly. That's throwing it out there. I was better than Thunder Gun. We're going to. No. I'm gonna slow down right there, but no, no, no. Halo. Second is Fire Emblem. Most people don't know about Fire Emblem. 
What five of them is great. Third up is Assassin's Creed. I uh, see that one coming. I thought it would be two, but I guess I made it to three. Can't tell me shit about Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed uh, 2. Assassin's Creed 2 is one of the greatest. All right, what, what are your, some of your favorite animes? One Piece, One Piece, and more One Piece, the greatest anime of all time. This isn't arguable. I'm not even going to go through this. It's One Piece. I won't argue that shit today. I don't so, care about anything else. No, no other okay. anime. You're not going to say it. Either. Mine is done. No. And I want to be clear to everyone that's listening. I am a One Piece fanatic. Okay. The story of One Piece is beautiful. And I'm going to stick beside it. Okay. <laughs> I do like Naruto. People act like if you say Naruto, you're not really an anime fan. Shut the fuck up. Naruto is dope. If I didn't pick that one, I would have picked one piece again i'm gonna have to go with full metal alchemist brotherhood demon slayer and then death note i want to get the hype around death note death it, it was bored if you want to go to sleep i think your brain has to be like yeah you have to have the certain right. intellect you explain I think, everything i think it has to yeah, be like to, if you want to see a show where the guy actually never loses because he's fucking broken watch well, then note. watch one piece i have a lot of favorite animes but i'm gonna go ahead and hit y'all over the head anything that is fate stay is my go-to i'm gonna hit you over the head with five force but five force is fucking badass gonna be something that's called Toradora. It is one of my favorite <laughs> animes of all time. I'll go fuck when no one tells me. Ross, you know what Toradora is? You don't know what Toradora is. It's better than Death uh, Note. Uh, uh, let me give you a synopsis. Man. Yeah, I write the name in a book. No. Man. And the person dies. Man. But How do you guys feel about being in Just OK Gaming? Just OK Gaming is perfect. It's always something I wanted to do. Just OK Gaming allows us to play the video games we like with the friends and people that we like. We're also doing more than just video games. We're doing anime discussions thanks to Yangle's Corner. We got a great editor thanks to Kid Lightning. And we've been doing a lot. Look forward to next Sunday. We got some big things coming. We're going to do a spoiler alert. Hot Ones video. I'm super excited. Spoilers! I said the words spoiler alert. Put it across my screen if you have to. Him out, him now, out, now all the viewers oh are going to be excited and make sure to check out that video when it drops right. after Sunday. Oh my god. You mean they're going to like, share, and subscribe? That's insane. Uh, but but the only way they'd be notified is if they rung the bell so that their phone would tell them, hey, it's out. That's correct. Oh, maybe they should yeah. do it. I mean, I wouldn't want to miss it. Yeah, and we spent a lot of money for this Hot Ones Challenge, so make sure you watch that shit. I just want to continue doing what we've been doing. I want to do this and a little bit more. As far as the vlogging, I want to do the food testing because the three of us are foodies. Yes, yes sir. They don't even know. <laughs> yes, That's uh, coming out next. When I first started this channel, it was just a small little channel where I wanted to put Warzone clips together, make some montages. Yang Wolf and Thunder Gun, when they joined it, it evolved into something much greater. Something greater than I've ever imagined it to be. Moments where we laugh and have fun are immortalized. I can go back and watch these moments and never forget them. It, it, it actually warms my heart watching these clips of us laughing, even if it only has 20 views, it doesn't matter because it's, it's there and it will always be there and it will never be forgotten. That's, that's the biggest part to me. I want us all to look on it and say, that's something we made and have other people say, damn, that's pretty cool. I feel great, I feel great about Just AK Gaming. I met these guys at work. Later on, I found out that they, that they played and they were doing some stuff on YouTube. One person who's rarely here anymore is Taser Boy. Um, he introduced me to these guys. I just want to continue doing it. No matter how long it takes, be able to do this without doing anything else because it's what I like doing and it's fun. Hanging with these guys is fun as hell. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Doing this is by far one of the funnest, exciting things I've done in the last year or two. It, it, it's extremely exciting. So please, you know, comment in the videos and tell us how can we improve the channel because we take criticism. I'll take a negative comment over negative. no comment. Exactly. Um, tell us where we suck at. Get better mics. Tell us something. If you leave negative comments about the editing, when you get home, I'll be under your bed. <laughs> oh, okay. so, I would like to thank and shout out my girlfriend and my dad because they both have supported me and always showed interest they've watched all the videos they've commented on it and they would talk to me about it and they would even give me criticism especially my dad he would give me criticism all the time and then he would give me criticism on ross and then criticism on ross again he particularly likes yang wolf for sure he, he says that yang wolf talks about what he likes like, like with a passion he says ross doesn't so <laughs> My dad's one of our biggest fans. I'd like to particularly shout out my brother. His name is Eli, aka Twin Blade. He supports the channel, he gets in the channel, he comes back and tells us about the anime discussions that we're having. He gives me feedback. He's always been in my corner. Definitely that's my biggest supporter right now, is my brother. So I'll shout him out. Twin Blade V, what's up bro? I would have to, of course, give a shout out to the wife. She is number one. The wife is the one who allows me to get the time to even do these videos. I have two daughters and they like to break into this room guns blazing thunder baby always being watched probably right now as we speak so that i'm able to even create this content and do these things with you guys also 
Kid Lightning's father. <laughs> he is actually <laughs> Just OK Gaming's biggest supporter. I do know that. And every time he gives any critiques or criticism, I listen every time. <laughs> he, he, he said that you've gotten a lot better. Every time he says, you know, Ross needs to do this or do that, I'm listening and I will do it every time. He, again, actually is our biggest supporter and I appreciate him very much. Shout out to Papa Lightning. <laughs> Papa <laughs> Lightning. Yeah, hey, bro. Hey, once again, to all the viewers, future viewers and current, we, we just want to th say thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time to actually watch us and follow us on the journey that we're we're all taking together. Thank you to everyone that's hey. um, that is paying attention <laughs> and that is watching us and supporting us. And special shout love. outs to Taser Boy. Oh, special shout out to Taser Boy. Rest in peace. We just got a new R.I.P. Taser Boy.